Snapdragon or Exynos? Which one's actually better? It's a question that's been dividing tech fans for years. Let's break it down so you can see which one's right for you. First, what are they? Snapdragon is Qualcomm's mobile processor, used in most flagship Android phones in the US, China, and many other places. Exynos is Samsung's own chip, found mainly in Europe, Asia, and the Middle East. Both power your apps, games, cameras, and manage battery life. They're the brains of your phone. Performance-wise, Snapdragon usually comes out ahead. It offers faster CPU and GPU performance, meaning smoother gaming, quicker app launches, and cooler operation under heavy load. Exynos chips have improved a lot, but if you're into high-end gaming or demanding apps, Snapdragon still feels more consistent. Battery life is another win for Snapdragon. Thanks to better efficiency, it drains slower both when idle and during heavy use. Older Exynos models had issues with heat and faster drain, but newer ones are much better. When it comes to cameras, it's more balanced. Snapdragon's image processors handle HDR, low light, and colors really well. Exynos cameras lean into Samsung's signature vibrant look, which some people actually prefer. So this one comes down to personal taste. Connectivity is where Snapdragon often takes the lead again. Its modems deliver stronger 5G speeds, better signal stability, and faster adoption of new Wi-Fi and Bluetooth standards. Exynos is solid here too, but in areas with weak coverage, Snapdragon usually holds on better. Thermals, or heat management, matter for performance. Snapdragon chips tend to stay cooler, meaning less slowdown during intense use. Older Exynos models could get quite warm, though recent versions have improved. Availability might decide for you automatically. In the US, you almost always get Snapdragon. In Europe, it's usually Exynos unless you import, which can cost more. So which should you choose? If you're a gamer, power user, or want the best battery and connectivity, Snapdragon is still the safer pick. If you're a casual user who loves Samsung's camera style and you're not pushing your phone to the limit, Exynos will serve you just fine. In day-to-day -day use, both chips are fast, capable, and more than enough for most people. The differences really matter only if you're looking closely. So what's your pick? Snapdragon or Exynos? Drop your answer in the comments. And if you liked this breakdown, hit like, subscribe, and ring the bell so you don't miss the next video. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next one.